brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, as we are preparing for the feast of Mother Mary, we are meditating on the subject, Mother Mary, Gate of Heaven. In the letter of St. Paul to Galatians, chapter 4, verse 4, we read, But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, this is how God chose to come to this world when he had other ways to come to this world. The prophet Ezekiel prophesying of Mary says, The gate shall be closed, it shall not be opened, and no man shall pass through it, since the Lord God of Israel has entered through it, and it shall be closed for the prince, the prince himself shall sit in it. Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 2 Mother Mary is called the gate of heaven because it is through this gate God came to this world. Mary is the experience of when heaven and earth meet. Similarly, she is also the gate through which we must pass to go to our Lord. A gate is quite simply a way of getting in or out of somewhere. Usually there are two ways. So if someone came out of a gate, it is a safe bet that we can go where they came from using the same way. The Blessed Virgin Mary shows us the way to Jesus. She gives us the tools or graces in following her to come to Jesus Christ. We need grace to be saved. Our Lord has established Our Lady as the Mediatrix of all graces. She is the gate from which heaven can pour its blessings down on earth. Saint Bernardine of Siena says the following, As every mandate of grace that is sent by a king passes through the palace gates, so does every graces that comes from heaven to the world pass through the hands of Mary, the gate of heaven. Anybody who approaches her, she is sure to take them to her son Jesus Christ. Pope St. Pius X said, There is no surer or easier way than Mary in uniting all men with Christ. Likewise, Pope Paul VI said, If we want to be Christians, we must be Marians. Thus, Marian devotion is an essential part of Christianity. At this time, let us offer our sufferings, needs and petitions to our Lord through Mother Mary. O Mother Mary, we ask your intercession for all the people in our church and the world, so that through you, the gate of heaven, let us enter to eternal life with the Lord. Amen.